Hey, caught on camera, a man seen throwing a large rock onto the windshield of a car as the driver exited southbound 205 near Northeast Gleason and Stark. Now, a witness told our Lindsay Nadrich it was scary to watch and not an isolated incident. This happened last Thursday, but no arrests have been made. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says they received several reports of a man throwing rocks at cars and the MAX train. The man who took the video says he's thankful no one was seriously hurt. Every time I go to Portland, it seems like I see something crazy like that nowadays. Witnesses watched in horror as this man throws a huge rock onto the windshield of a woman's car as she exits 205. Thank God she didn't have a passenger. Um, you know, it could have been a lot worse. It could have. The driver didn't want to do an interview, but told me she's thankful to be alive and that her one-year-old daughter wasn't in the car when it happened. Joseph Lepro took the video. He says he started filming after watching the man walking along cars, knocking on windows and trying to open door handles. You know, I was just hoping I didn't have to see somebody seriously injured or dead from the incident. Around 2.15 that same day, the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says they also received reports of a man throwing rocks at trains and causing disruptions at Northeast 97th and Burnside. There's a large homeless camp nearby and witnesses believe the man came from the camp. 911 also received several reports from drivers about the man throwing rocks at cars. And around 3 p.m., transit police tried to question the man, but say he ran away through traffic and police were unable to find him after briefly searching the area. It's scary, um, especially, you know, I have family members that travel to Portland and friends and, you know, you're always waiting for that call that something crazy happened to them because wrong place, wrong time. Joseph says this is unacceptable and blames city leadership for not doing more to address the homeless crisis and other issues plaguing Portland. Poor leadership is what it comes down to. You know, we invited this into Portland, so our leaders did. Both the city and county recently announced more resources to address the homeless crisis and add more shelter beds, but it's too early to know the impacts of that. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says any other drivers who had their car damaged should follow up with a report. In Portland, I'm Lindsay Nadrich, Point 6 News.